Every time you come around, you know I can't say. Hello everybody and welcome back to our channel. My name is Jup and I am Ray. And today we're going to be making snowflakes. And um, today uh, we'll be making a larger one, but you can make a um, smaller one too. And it's the exact same thing, I promise, but it's just a smaller piece of paper. Here are the supplies we will be needing in this project. We'll be needing six pieces of paper, scissors, glue, and a stapler. And we'll be showing you what to do with the stapler near the end of the video. Yes. So let's get started on making the snowflake. Okay, so the first step is very simple. You just uh, fold it like that. And take you're going to make a triangle. Yeah, take your paper and do a triangle like this. And then and you then. will need your scissors and cut the excess paper as your triangle. So you only have the triangle left there. Like. We would not need that paper in, later on in the video. You can throw it or whatever you want to do with it. Yeah. And this next step might be a little hard, so we're going to show you scissors. properly. And then you want to make like a stripe. So you want... Yeah. Not all the way. Yeah, just like right there maybe. And then make another one, but that one should not be connected to that one either. So you see You're going to make it a little lower than that one. So you see that one, and then you will want to... Like that. It's like, you can see it's a little dark thin. It's like this one's like bigger than this one. Yeah. So we're going to keep on doing that step, but we need three or four of these. So you have to have an even amount. You can have, like, there should be three on one side and three on the other side, or four on one side and four on the other side. Yeah, so. We, should, we can recommend you have a maximum four but on each side. But you're doing six today. And now the last two are going to make, not too small, but small, like that There we big. go, that's enough. So now we're gonna make the other uh, smaller one. There you go. So okay. now it should look like this. So you see how it has cuts there. That's good. And then you open it up. And this well. part, for this part, you need glue. Yes, so I have my glue right here. You will be opening it. And uh, you see the sides right here? So and you need to take, like, take the glue and put glue right there. And take the other side of the uh, triangle part. And then you would glue it like right there. Like a little one, right there. Yeah. And then you're gonna flip it and do it on the other side. This part some people mess up on, but it's a common mistake. So you put the glue here, I'll explain again. You and flip then it, you put, like do this. You glue it together, it together like that. And then you leave it there for like two seconds at least. And then you flip it, oops, again. it unglued. Oh no, did it? No. Oh, it didn't, okay. So now you're gonna do it on the other side again. Sure put out. some um if you think you have enough glue maybe put some extra because then if it unglues it. while you're in the middle of the project that can be a big disaster so make sure it's okay but me and Reese have been in the distat the like the mess up area oh yeah so then it should be looking like this you see, oh wait, let's see that again. So you see that? It's like one part of this big snowflake, like right there. So this one would be like right here. It's yeah. like this one, but way jumpy. Every time you come around, you know I can't say. Every time the sun goes down, I let you take on. Okay, guys, so here's the stapling part. If you want to make a snowflake, you probably should watch closely. So, first, let's take two of these. Now we have six, probably. So, take two of them, and by these sides, like where we glued the last one and the other one, too, take those together, and then take a, your stapler and go like right in there. And then staple. So here, just um, to see what it looks like. So it's like here are the two. Then you staple these two ends together. And then you do that for the rest of them. Take one like that and staple. Take 
one with the other end staple. And it should be a straight line. Yeah. And then the if you want to make it like a circle or how that snowflake looks, we'll show you right after I do this. Like that. That's five right there and one more at the end. Right there. Take it and there. So now this part is a little tricky too. I'll just um, move it in your direction. So take one bit, take it to the, the other like end of it, put it together like that, right there. And then the other end, like that right there. Then the other, then the next. I know it looks a bit crowded, but you'll see at the end. And make sure it looks, it's gonna look like kind of like a flower. Yeah. So then take your stapler and then staple those all those six ends right there. Wait, wait, wait. Make sure all of them are in. And staple. So you see how that looks like that? These ones are not connected, the other ends. So just like how we did the other ones, like how we connected them, we're gonna connect these two together. Like right there. And like yeah, there we go. Our snowflake is made. Just like that, it's really nice. And comment down about, sorry, comment below how yours looks and if this was a good video for the instructions. So yeah, bye.